everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is a little tutorial on how to do this gorgeous from smoky eye sort of look so without further ado let's get into the video so brows all done off camera my skin's breaking out but that's okay we'll get over it you guys already know the drill we're now going to carve out our eyebrows and set our eyelids using the best skin ever concealer by sephora collection and i'm gonna apply it directly on my eyelids today just because i am running out of this product so i need to get some more and then just using my flat end brush, I'm just going to set and carve out my eyebrows and eyelids. Now we're just going to blend it out with our damp beauty blender. I am going to set my eyelids using the usual Anastasia Beverly Hills contouring kit. And I might go in with this shade here just because the middle one's running out. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but on Disney Plus, there's that new TV series, Pam and Tommy, and it's about Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee, who was the drummer in Motley Crue. It's actually like a really good series. Like if you guys want something to watch, definitely would recommend it. Um, I haven't finished it yet, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I won't say anything else because I don't want to spoil it for you guys if you are wanting to watch it. <laughs> We're going to be using the Natasha Denona bronze palette and this literally came in the mail last sometime last week like it is such a gorgeous palette i absolutely love it i can't wait to like create multiple looks with this so yeah um i'm kind of thinking of doing like like a bronzy rusty like smoky eye oh should i go gold it's actually so hard like every time i look at a palette I'm like I'm, I'm inspired but then i see all the other colors and i'm like oh We'll do like a coppery, rusty sort of smoke eye. We'll go over that and we'll stick with that. So I'm just going to start with this shade here called Suntan. But I'm going to be using that as my transition. This is the first time I've ever owned a Natasha Denona palette. And it's actually really good. Like I've heard so many good things about these palettes. Like how pigmented they are. And yeah, I can tell you right now. It is very pigmented and I am loving the quality. I did use this palette the other day when I created like this 90s inspired look. I'll pop it up on screen for you guys. I really love that look like... It's actually not too hard as well, so I may do a tutorial on that for you guys. Right, so now I'm just going to get like a fluffy blending brush and just soften up these edges. Now we're just going to go in with this shape here. So just popping it in the crease area, just to deepen it up. So yeah, the placement should look something like that. I'm really liking these colours. I feel like this palette really complements like coloured eyes really nice. Like brown eyes as well. But like learning about the colour wheel using shades that are opposite your natural eye colour really makes them stand out even more. So now I'm just buffing out the edges again. So now that we've deepened the crease we're now going to add a shimmer just in the inner corner of the eye. So yeah the shade right here it's really grabbing my attention so I'll go for that one. I'm gonna just use my finger and then just like gently dab it onto the inner corner of the eye. The reason why I like using your finger especially when applying metallic shimmery sort of shades is good is because the oil of the finger warms up the product so when it applies onto your eyelid it really intensifies the pigment so it makes it look more like whereas if you just tap it on with your brush it still looks good but it doesn't apply as nice. Another trick you can do is spraying your brush with a setting spray. That's like another alternative. It pretty much does the exact same thing. I love how pigmented the shimmers are on this palette. It's so good. Just gonna go in with Magma again and pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend it out from here. Oh my god, okay, yes. Yes, yes, yes. These shades just go so well together, like they're just so pretty. So that's what the eye is looking like right now. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to add like a wing liner. I feel like that will kind of tie the look together. I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty wing liner. It reminds me of like a Sharpie, but it's really easy to use. I find it quite hard to do like wing eyeliner on camera. But I'm going to start by like kind of just like creating a line from where the outer corner of my eye is. So around here and then just slowly connecting it to the lash line and then following the rest of the shape if that makes sense <laughs> okay so we've got our line so i think it's okay i think it'll look better once i like clean up or like look a bit more sharper you know so this is why I like to do like my eyeshadow first before my foundation just to kind of prevent like any fallout. Say if I do my base, I don't have to worry about like cleaning it up or forget my ting. 
So just going in with the usual the Jet Lashes Mascara by Huda Beauty. Build a limp end for the top lashes. I'm just going to go in with some lashes that I've cut in half. Just because I have the wing eyeliner, I kind of want to create that like elongated sort of look. Alright, so the lashes are on. I'm now going to continue with this eye off camera and then we'll come back and do the face. Awesome, so the eyes are all done. We're now going to continue with the face. I kind of want to go for like a matte complexion today. I'm going to try to use powder products to help achieve that look. So let's get into it. So I'm going to be using the Sephora Smoothing Primer. And this will reduce the appearance of my pores. And we're going to be using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation today. It gives like a really matte finish, very full coverage, which I love. But you literally only need like two pumps and that's enough to cover the entire face and give a good amount of coverage. So I'm some pumps I'm on the back of my hand. So that's one pump there. Using our damp beauty blender, we're just going to pop that all over the face. I just did half of my face just so you guys can just see like the coverage of this product. Terrible good terrible but see look at that like all my breakouts are gone and remember just to leave space under the eye area for your concealer looking like has for the friendly ghost right now but don't worry we'll warm it up with some bronzer i'm just going to be going in with my ed cosmetics chest pot bye bye under eye concealer and just place that underneath the eye area and then just blend it out some days I will use my brush to blend it out. Usually all the time I kind of just want to quickly blend it out. I kind of can't be bothered like tapping and tapping. The it Cosmetics, I would definitely say that that brand is really good for like mature skin. It's just like quite nice when like a lot of older women, they don't really want to have like a foundation or product that is too heavy on their face. So you can just like go get the it Cosmetics CC Cream. It's really light on the skin, but it's also full coverage at the same time. Now I'm just going to go in and set my face with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. I just dab it all over. My face is all set. I'm looking very airbrushed, which is good. That's exactly what I want. So we're now going to do some contouring. I'm going to go back in with our Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Usually when I contour, I tend to use this middle shade here. So there, that's where I'm going to contour. And then I'm kind of just like blending it upwards just so it's not as harsh. I'm going to do my jawline. We're now going to go in with that shame, shame. We're gonna go in with that same shade and just using like a small blending brush, we're gonna just contour our nose. So start from like the very tip of the bridge of your nose and then just go down. Perfect. Our nose is looking good. Squidward's nose is dip. Now we are going to bronze our face. I'm gonna be using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit in the shade Caramel. And then kind of just like the high part of your cheekbone, just like add it about here. Okay, that looks good. It's added some color into my foundation. I don't look so pale. Where I contoured my jawline, I'm just going to place the bronze in that same area as well. Just to warm up the bottom half of my face. The bronzer is all done already. I look, I've woken up from the dead. I've crawled out of my grave. I look good. So this is the Heaven's Dew Highlighter. It's from Stila and you can buy this from Mecca. So it's like a putty consistency. So pretty much you just want to apply it with your fingers. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like body glitter, like very faint sparkles on your face. But once you put it towards light, it just gives like a nice clean glow. Now we're going to go back in with our Natasha Denona palette. And we're going to use the shade Magma and we're going to smoke out the lower lash line. Just using your smudge brush. With a lot of the looks that I do, I always like to smoke out underneath the lash line. I don't know, I just feel like it kind of creates more impact to the look. So I'm just going to go in with this EXO Beauty Slim Crease Brush and then I'm just going to like buff out the magma shade that I just placed underneath my eye so it looks nice and smoky. I'm now going to outline my lips using the Mecca Maxima Pout Pencil in the shade Classy and I'm actually going to slightly overdraw my lips as well. So 
so now that the lips are overdrawn and they're looking juicy and plump I'm gonna add like a lip gloss I think I'm gonna use the Mickey Maxima lip gloss and this is the shade Glitterbug so I'm gonna pop this on the middle of my lips so like the good thing about placing lip gloss like just in the middle area only it does actually kind of create a more like plump and fuller effect if that makes sense awesome we are almost done just going to do the mascara on my bottom lashes now just using the volume end of the legit lashes so when I apply my mascara I kind of like to do this sort of motion personally I just feel like it helps separate the lashes even more I might actually add like a lighter gold so I'm just gonna add this shade here just into like the inner corner of my eyes just to kind of make them pop out a bit more so we're pretty much done just gonna set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray all right so this is the completed look perfect for a date night girls night any of that kind of stuff Nothing too intense. If you're into like bronzy sort of glam, would definitely recommend this palette. The colors are very pigmented. The metallics have like a very like buttery sort of consistency, so it makes it really easy when applying it on. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave any comments below on what else you'd like to see from me, and don't forget to subscribe.